Okay, let's keep this short, straight, and simple. I'm done with you guys and I am moving to Korea. Yes, all the way to Korea. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adeli K. Adibayo Esho, movie, lifestyle, blogger, blogger, entertainer, producer, director, filmmaker. You know how we do. <laughs> Please go ahead and subscribe to my channel if you can. I would love it. I would really, really appreciate it. Okay, so I say I'm moving to Korea. Obviously, not literally, but literally. <laughs> because actually, I'm offended. I, I am offended because I feel like I'm a late bloomer. And it's not fair because apparently a lot of you guys love Korean movies. But none of you, none of you ever told me about them. So imagine my shock when I was ranting to my friend about Korean movies and she's looking at me like, huh? That was so 2008. And I was like, what? And I was ranting about all these movies that I just stumbled upon and she's telling me, oh, I watched that, I watched that. Apparently, there's an entire following of Korean movies in Nigeria and I'm just finding out about them. Does, do, does that sound fair to you? Does it? No, it doesn't. So there I was on Netflix minding my business a very long time, I think late last year, just you know minding my business, just surfing around trying to decide oh what am I going to watch today and then Netflix recommends this Korean movie to me. It was, what's the first, what's the title? I think uh, Accidentally in Love or something and I was just like, mm hmm who is going to watch Korean film? Like, who, who, who has time to be reading subtitles? And I skipped it and left and went somewhere else. But then they kept recommending it. And I was just like, Phew. now wow, okay, okay, Netflix, okay, I'm going to watch it. My brothers and sisters in the Lord. That was how I started watching this thing. I thought I was going to struggle with the subtitle. But in fact, for a long time, I even forgot. I did not understand what they were saying because I was so engrossed in this Korean. It wasn't a, mo a movie, it was a series. And I was watching episode one and two and three. I remember the first time my husband caught me watching it. It was like, is it that Nollywood, you are done with Nollywood and Nollywood is so bad now that you have now uprooted yourself over to Korea. And I was just like, I don't get it. But I finished watching the entire season and I was hooked. Hook, line, and sinker. Literally. <laughs> and that was it for me. I was sold into Korean movies. I found myself researching about them, researching about North Korea and South Korea, about the different accents in Korea and what soldier means and why they're always eating meat. And guys, I'm moving to Korea. <laughs> so I've been going on and on and on to anyone who cares to listen about my newfound love for Korean movies because, or should I say Korean series, because I really don't watch the movies for whatever reason. I just prefer the series and I've watched some very good ones. And you know why they're so good? Let me tell you, if this is your first time hearing about Korean movies, yes, I'm so excited because it makes me feel better that I'm not the last person on the face of the earth to hear about them. <laughs> so let me tell you why. K-drama, as they're popularly called, yes. <laughs> Guys, you don't get it. As I'm trying to calm down. Let me tell you why K-dramas are so good. Number one, the men, the leading men are so good looking. Ah, oh, my God, my God, my God. See, I watched the one, eh? And my love from the star or something like that. Chicks! I have to go Google the guy, like, who are you? Where are you from? Are you truly from this star? Oh, you know? Why are you here? Why are you here? I don't know if I'm going to see a person who is like this. I'm going to eat a cookie. I'm not a cookie, I'm a cookie. You're a cookie! Number two, the stories are usually either intriguing, dramatic, or just cheesy and relaxing. But it depends on my mood. So some days I want to watch something very intriguing and you know and dramatic so i'm watching like some of their darker dramas and intriguing dramas some days i just want to watch like something very relaxing and maybe like a cheesy love story let me tell you about my favorite so far i think kill me heal me would definitely be at the top of the list for me 
Uh, I wish I could pronounce their names. See, I can't pronounce it, but I know it here. Let me not, let me not murder their names. <laughs> Kill Me, Heal Me was good. The drama was intense and there's still love story in there but it's not it's not predominantly love story it's it's a love story but it has a lot of layers to it which a lot of their dramas do have you know and then there is boys over flowers apparently boys over flowers every nigerian that has seen korea movie has seen that one i didn't like boys over flowers as much as i loved uh meteor garden which is the chinese version which are the first one i saw before boys over flowers so yeah in fact i skipped boys over flowers all the way to the last episode because i figured oh, it was pretty much the same thing but i remember the guy's name gu chong pyo <laughs> gu chong pyo <laughs> I also liked Hair to Heart. Hair to Heart is a 2018, very recent. You are going to love it. It's a love story as well, but again, lots of layers, lots of depth. Um, and then the cinematography was just killing me. Like I was just shouting up and down about the cinematography in Hair to Heart. And then, oh, what's wrong with Secretary Kim? <laughs> that one is hilarious. Aura. <laughs> So, um, what's wrong with Secretary Kim is hilarious it's going to make you laugh it's a romantic comedy and the romantic comedies can be a bit exaggerated sometimes but this one was like a perfect balance you know of the two i really really liked it so yeah i just figured i'll talk to you guys about it and let you guys know i was talking to my friend Faisal, and i was telling her about the amazing thing called k dramas and she was like oh you should probably make a video about it so i figured you know what i'll tell you guys about my newfound love for k dramas especially for the benefit of those who have never watched a Korean drama before. Uh, but what do you guys think? Are you a K-drama lover? Are you not? Which ones have you seen? Which ones are you going to recommend to me? Are you never going to try it all? Based on my recommendation, will you go ahead and try one? <laughs> Whatever your thoughts are, please leave them down below in the comment section. So I'm not literally moving to Korea, you know, obviously. But if you're looking for me, I'm a B. I'm a... <laughs> I'm gonna be in Seoul, Korea, okay? Gangnam style. <laughs> if you take me to Korea, I'm not going to get lost. I know, Ayashiya. Ayashiya means hello. Yebuseo? 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 What's that one? Krom? Uh, Ayashiya? I don't know what I'm saying. <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Guys, what do you think? Let's continue the conversation down below in the comment section. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much. Remain in God and God bless you. Bye, people.